Hey there everybody, we're going to take a look at IQBot from Automation Anywhere. IQBot can read documents, figure out the type of document it is, and pull the necessary information off the document. So it takes the unstructured data on the document and it turns it into structured data which you can use in your different automations. What we're going to do here is look at a tax form. This is a tax return for an S corporation, Form 120S. And what we want to do is we want to pull out um, some information on this form. Let's say we want to get the name, the address, the employee ID number, um, and a couple of these fields here. So what we will do is we will go to the IQBot and we'll create a new learning instance. So let's go and click this. We'll call it taxdoc1120s. We're going to say it's a different kind of domain. So IQBot has these default ones defined here. Um, it shows actually what kind of fields that those documents might have. We don't have a 1120 tax form here, so what we're going to do is just say other. Primary input, this is going to be the language of the input. There's a lot of different options here. Um, obviously, we're going to choose English, though. Uh, we're not going to add a description. And this is what will initially help the bot identify what fields are on the screen um, before everything's trained. It actually helps in training, but this is a way to make sure that we're identifying the correct fields and we can verify. So I'm going to go and select two documents here, open those. And because we selected other for the domain, we need to go and specify a domain name. Let's just call it an income tax form. And now let's go and define some of the fields. So if we name the fields the same thing as is found in the tax document, the IQ bot will find it initially right away but they might not be user friendly so number street and room or suite number that's not really a good name for something so for name let's call it corporation name add as form so the difference between add as form and add as table is these are all form fields here um, if we want to have a table field we might look at something like a um, if I were to look at a embassy suites here you can see that this is more of a table. You can see there's dates, there's reference numbers, there's descriptions, there's charges. Um, if we were looking at a document like this, this would be what a table form is. But since we're looking at this document, uh, this is mostly just fields here. So we have corporation name, let's say um, employee, employer ID. So let's use those for now. Um, let's go and click this Create Instance and Analyze. So what it's going to do is IQBot is now looking at these documents and trying to identify these fields. Um, it's also going to look at the whole document and kind of group together um, similar looking parts of these documents. Since we're only processing two documents, this shouldn't take too long. If we were processing a lot more documents and they were a lot bigger and had more fields to find, um, IQBot would take a little longer time to get through them all. So the analyzing process is finished. Let's see what it did. It went and identified a group on these different documents and from here we can go and train the bot to identify the appropriate fields on the documents. So here's the document that we were looking at. You can see that there's a lot of blue boxes around the different words here. Um, it's because IQBot went and identified groups of words that it believed belong together. Um, some of them are actually green, so this is where the IQ bot went and identified, okay, employer ID is probably this field right here. Um, and then we got to go and check to see, okay, where is the value for this field? The label is employer ID. So normally for a form, you'll get a label on the left side and then the value of it on the right side. So it got a little confused as to what the value for employer identification number is. So we're just going to go and select it for the bot. So now the bot knows that if it finds this label, this employee identification number label, it's going to look below it to find the value for that label. So let's go to gross receipts or sales. It did find the label, um, but it went and found the most immediate next value here, which is not what we wanted. We wanted this value. So let's go and change that one as well. Save that. And now it's identifying properly. And then ordinary business income. So it found it, ordinary business income here, but then it thought that immediately to the right would be the value so it says loss subtract line 20 from line 6 that's obviously not what we want we want this value here so we're gonna do the same thing alright and then you'll notice that some of the fields are missing so we're going to go and click on them so one of them that was missing was 
total income, I believe. Let's go, it was a field, total income loss. And then we're gonna say the value is right here. So now it goes in green. And then the other one was the name up here. So we told it to do corporation name. It didn't find the word corporation, so it didn't find it on this document. So we're gonna go and just click here, call it the field, call it the corporation name, and then say we're going to have it right below here. Not just Ike's, Ike's, Ike's Ice Creamery. Save. So now the document can successfully identify the different fields it needs to find and the values for those fields. Now in order to use our bot, we can go and close this out. We need to go set this instance to production. That means our Automation Anywhere can go and call this bot. Let's go over to bots here. Let's set this group 10 here to production. And then let's go and open up Automation Anywhere Designer. So I have a folder. Um, this folder is this one right here. It contains a different tax form here, that's different than the one that we trained on. What we're gonna do is go into this, make sure we're calling the right instance. So we got tax form here, save, I'm gonna save it. And so now when I hit play, it's going to go and read the document in this folder and process it using IQBot. So I'm gonna hit run. I'm gonna start doing something. You can see that something's going on here. It's going, oh, hey, I got a uh, document here. It has yet to be classified, but it's going through the process of doing it. And it's actually sent the document for validation. So let's go see what happens here. So we had one file at 80% accuracy. We're gonna go and look to see what happened. We're gonna go to this validation tab here gonna open it up so you can see that it was able to capture some of the fields it got the name here it got the employer ID the gross receipts um, the total income loss it wasn't able to capture this ordinary business income um, so a little bit more training needs to happen so what we're gonna do is we're going to go and fill it in and this is actually gonna help train the bot for the future um, so it'll get better and better and better at identifying documents um, if it were to identify all the fields correctly, it would have just went straight through um, and inserted the information it pulled off the document into our output folder. Um, but when it doesn't go and identify a document 100% correctly, that is when a user will have to come in and validate the documents. So a certain percentage of your documents will be identified 100% correctly and a certain percentage will not. There's a certain confidence threshold that IQBot uses to determine whether or not it wants to say the field was correctly identified or not. And that threshold is changed over time as it learns. So a failed document isn't the end of the world. The idea is that IQBot will be able to identify a majority of the documents. And as it keeps going through more and more documents, it's gonna get better and better at doing it. But since we started off with just training two documents, it still did pretty good. Um, it was able to identify four of the fields. It missed one, but we're still very early in the training phase. So you can see how as you build more and more cases up, um, it'll get better and better over time. Let's go and save the document. Yes. We'll close the screen. And we can go into one of our folders to find the completed document. And here's the information we got from it. So this has been saved as a CSV file. So it can look like this, but we can also open it up as an Excel file. And now that the data is in a structured format, it is a lot easier for a computer to use it for other purposes or to continue on uh, in the automations. We can have a bot monitor this output folder so that when a new file comes in, we can get this information and then kick off another process if we wanted to. So some of the big things to take away here is that initially IQBot probably won't be able to get every single one of your documents 100% correct. As you're setting it up, it's gonna do a good job at identifying probably the majority of them, um, but there will be some cases in which it'll ask a user to go and look at it just to verify that it is getting the correct information from the document. So initially you'll get a percentage of your cases automated. 
Um, and eventually that'll trend towards 100 as it sees more documents and it learns more and more and more from them.